Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, back playing some more Forza. Last time out in the uh, Arrowhead Rival series for GT S1 class cars. Uh, the Lotus Elise GT1 couldn't quite match up to the KTM Crossbow GT4. So today we are going to try another GT1 car from the past. And hopefully they'll be able to put up a good show. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Porsche GT1 uh, Strassen version, <laughs> however you say that. The 911 GT1, 1998 versus 1997 Elite GT1. Pretty close, but today we're going to be taking it up against the crossbow. So this was a really hard car to decide what to build for. I was really considering allowing this car to compete in S2 class uh, 901 because of the tires it can get. It can get the super grippy uh, extra racy tires, but I had to settle for the regular race tires uh, because uh, otherwise it was in S2 class by one point and we can't have that. And I guess I didn't tune this car, so we'll tune it on video just to see how I do. I always like less camber so that I get more tire contact patch. I like sway bars being even. I like springs being two above the lowest so that we have some travel. A little bit stiffer front springs all around. And aerodynamics as high as it'll go. And then we look at the lateral G's and count it down by five or so until we start losing uh, lateral G grip. Now you don't want to do this if you want top speed. You go to the left more. But for here, this is not a very high speed track. So we do the aerodynamics. A little bit extra brake pressure. A little bit extra differential. And away we go. Now obviously this seems to have less grip than the Lotus. But maybe it's better speed and help us out. This is uh, one of the first cars with uh, turbochargers. The first one we saw I think was the Bentley and then the Bugatti. So this car's got a lot of power. Running almost... 540 horsepower compared to the crossbow. But can we make it up? The lack in cornering speed that the KTM will have over a car with more power like this, but still good grip. This is still a very grippy car for S1. Underutilized, I would say. And if you uh, really want to, I think this car gets some insane weight reduction upgrades. And check out a thousand pounds. It's either this car or the uh, Mercedes CLK GTR that does that. Either way, opening lap. Uh, we have slowed around a little bit, but we do have some good speed. This will be the first car we take a look at since the crossbow that we will significantly run away from it in the opening and ending of a lap. It's just whether it can catch us in. Uh, the turns in the middle of the lap. It's already there. It's already past us. <laughs> we will catch up to it down the hill. Maybe I should take that line again. Start very wide, but then turn in. This car is pretty quick. I'll give it that. But I don't think we're going to be beating the crossbow in this car. It's all about whether we can hold enough distance by the last turn for it to matter.
wide entrance there. We're closer to it by this turn. There's too many turns left to go. No, we slide out. How did that happen? I have full aerodynamics on the back. It would have been way closer if I, did, if I didn't slide out there. A stable enough lap would probably be pretty close, but I don't think we can beat the KTM. Now the KTM can just stay above 100 miles an hour the entire time. No! No, we spun out. I wonder what I could have done if I didn't do that. I won't count this lap if I beat it. I spun out fair and square. I just want to see what would have happened if I didn't spin out. Where was it? When I was starting to spin out. It's right behind me. I would not have won anyways. That's your best lap. It would have been right behind the ATS, I think. And the Lotus Elise. But we can't quite beat the KTM. It was a good showing. Maybe if you are more stable than me, uh, you could have been closer or beaten it. But in the limited amount of laps that I give myself to do this, that's what it's been done. If you guys enjoyed the 911 GT1, then please do go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Gamble out. I'll see you all in the future.